Toby Curtis. I'm a shark researcher and fishery policy analyst for NOAA Fisheries. I've conducted research on the west coast and the east coast on sharks. I've studied white sharks in the past, uh, bull sharks in Florida. Uh, I was a fishery observer for a number of years, studying sharks in the longline shark fishing fleet off of Florida. And uh, most recently I've been studying basking sharks here off New England, doing satellite tagging research. Sharks are of uh, great conservation concern worldwide because they've been overfished in, in just about every ocean where they've been accessible to foreign fishing fleets. Fortunately here in the U.S. we've got ahead of the curve and we're trying to manage them now and, and some stocks are recovering, some faster than others, but we're making progress and the U.S. really is a world leader when it comes to shark conservation. Spiny dogfish is an important fishery in New England. It's the largest volume shark fishery in the country. Just like other sharks, they're actually very long-lived. Uh, they're very late to mature and they have few young. So they're very vulnerable to overfishing. And we've done a lot of research here off the Northeast to study their, their population dynamics. And uh, we monitor their population annually with the trawl survey conducted by the Northeast Fisheries Science Center. And that has allowed us to really do some quite good stock assessments. And over time, we've shown the population has definitely rebounded from the overfishing era of the 1990s. The main focus of the spiny dogfish recovery plan was reducing quotas and trip limits for the fishery. So the fishing fleet had took quite a hit for a number of years early on and had very restrictive quotas and trip limits. But towards the end of that rebuilding plan, as of 2010, they were rebuilt and the quotas have increased dramatically um, as have the trip limits since then. People eat spiny dogfish uh, mainly in, in Europe as fish and chips. Uh, almost all of the products caught here in the U.S. is exported to Europe. Sharks are very important to marine ecosystems worldwide and it's very important to conserve them because they're, they're top predators in the environment. They control fish populations that they feed on and they're important to the balance of, of marine ecosystems. So th their conservation is very important and they're very vulnerable to overfishing. So precautionary management is really needed for sharks.